Hey guys, today I am curling my hair. I've been trying to do this video horizontally, which is so hard to do because it's so hard to get my whole head in the screen. So here it is, quick and easy. By the way, um, <laughs> when I do this, all my white hairs pop up. So yeah, it's time for a little touch up at my roots. And yes, my Christmas tree is still up. She was my Valentine tree, so it's time to come down. Um, okay, so today I'm using the GHD Kronos. This is my newest and best tool, and I'm getting rid of the other tools. I didn't think I would say it. <laughs> so um, watch what this does. So it looks like a straight iron, which I will just straighten this piece of hair so you can show, so you can see, you can see, sorry. The steam is because my hair keeps a lot of moisture because it's so thick. So it's not smoke, don't worry about it. Um, I washed my hair last night and then I put leave-in conditioner so that I would have a heat protectant. Look how straight that is. Takes the frizz out and it's super shiny. Now there's two products that I got from YouTube that I use. One is the Great, it's called Great Barrier. It's from Beach Waver. I'll tag these. And the other is called Shine Squad. So I use the Beach, oh, Great Barrier first as your heat protectant or you can use dry shampoo or you can use It's a 10 or leave-in conditioner. Um, any type of product in your hair is, most of them have heat protectant. So that's what it's like super straight. There's one setting on this. Now you can also pass it as many times as you need to without damage to the hair. Um, why I know so much about this, I'm actually a rep for GHD. Uh, so this is part of my job. Look how curly. Did you guys see how I did that? So I have these two pieces pinned up because I curled them already. You see that? Let me show you the first, like the first piece. Look how curly that is. Now what I do is I, I make tight, tight curls, not, not super tight, but tight curls. So then this wave, this hairstyle, it's just gonna relax over the days, but um, it will last me three to four days as long as I don't wash my hair. It's amazing. Even when I exercise, I just tie my hair up and it lasts and lasts and lasts. Now there is a bit of a learning curve. Do you see that I go from up down and then twist the hair around with my fingers, let it cool. It's literally the opposite of a curling iron because most people take their curling iron and start down here and then curl up, which is also wrong, because if I, when I have a curling iron, I do it like this. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna flip it around, because now I'm used to going from up, point the nose down, and pull it through. It, this is, it's actually reversed now. I like to have the curl move away from my head. I mean, away from my face, but that's okay. I'll just leave it. So when you get used to this, it's super easy. Uh, I'm sectioning my hair, so it's about one inch at a time. You're gonna get a better result. The thicker you put your hair in there, the less it will react to the styler. And this styler is very reactive. So I'm a rep for GHG, but also um, through YouTube shopping affiliates, I, keep tagging this product in my videos, in my shorts, because uh, you can just go to the link in the video and buy it. It will send you like to Nordstrom or I think, yeah, I think it sends you to Nordstrom as long as it's in stock. Look at that. One pass. It is amazing. So what time is it? 4.15 in. It takes me about 10 minutes to do my whole head. No kidding. Okay, let me section this. So I'm sectioned from the top, top, bottom, side, side, so in quarters, basically. Um, I didn't get the back portion of my hair. I've got another clip. Ah, where's my other clip? It's probably already in my head and I don't know it. Okay, sorry guys. I'm just trying to do this tutorial without editing. So if you're here watching, thank you. Thank you for your patience. 
I swear I had two clips earlier. I took it out. Oh, there it is. See? All right, so I'm gonna pin this portion up so I can reach this part in the back so it's like left side back that I did not curl yet. Okay, watch how I rotate the tool in my wrist with my fingers. So you're not turning your wrist, I'm ro rotating my fingers. This tool is super light, so it lets you do that. Just remember that you're clipping the thing the whole way. Okay, that's enough, so I'll leave it. So there is a bit of a learning curve because you've got to hold it shut and twist and rotate. Then pull it through. When I pull it through, I can hear the tension of my hair running like, uh, what do you call it, perpendicularly against the edge of the styling tool. So if you can remember all those things, you are gonna do great. Did I get them all? Okay, I did. Now, the thing that people do, they, they open it up too soon, or they don't rotate all the way, or they don't let the tension of the hair pull against the tool. So those are three important things, and you're going to get an awesome result. You can make it as tight or as loose as you want to. So I would say these are, um, in between because they're not super loose. I'm gonna show you just right here, if you wanna get a super tight curl, you're gonna do this. So remember to clip it like an alligator. Now you're going to take the ends and watch how I rotate the tool. Okay, not like this, but in your, like in between your fingers. See, it's my fingers that are moving and I'm still holding the end of my um, hair, tail end of my hair, and I'm still holding the tool shut it's not that difficult. You just have to remember to do all those things at once. And then I kind of loosen it as I let my hair go through and then I get a super tight curl. Okay, and then let that dry. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, look how tight that curl is. It like literally shortened my hair in half. So if I want my hair to last, like be curly and last a long time, I will do it that way. If I just want a quick style, I, um, so here, nose down. Wrap your hair around away from your face and then pull it through and you'll feel the tension on the edge of the tool. And there you go. You got a long, like a longer, more relaxed wave. So I hope it's making sense. It took me a little bit to figure out what to do with it. Maybe I'd say two weeks to master the curl. And then once I did, I used to use the beach waver that was in the gift bag from YouTube. And um, now I'm like, nope, <laughs> this is it. You can also see how much shinier my hair is. This takes out the frizz, especially after a shower. I've got just like a tiny squiggle texture in my hair. Now I'm not talking bad about any of the other tools, the beach waver, like that tool was great also, but as a beauty professional and just someone who wants to be done quickly, I, it used to be like, oh my God, I got to do my hair. Can you imagine before I had any of these tools, I had to blow dry my hair with a round brush and then curl. Um, so I find ways to save time Usually I wash my hair at night, let it air dry. And then you can just take your tool because it takes the frizz out and curls super, super quickly in just one pass. Okay, so this is the last section that I have to do. The time is 9.20, pretty good, right? Okay, so this part here, I'm gonna break into two sections. Now see how I clip as close to the root? And just pull it through and you'll hear it. It's going shh as you pull it through. So I'm giving it tension just against the edge of the tool. 
I hate when my white hairs pop up, only in the camera. I swear I can't see them in the mirror, but the camera brings out everything. Um, not a big deal. I'm still pretty lucky that I don't have that many. So, one thing to remember too, nose down, elbow up, because you want the tool to face down and that's how it's going to glide through. The more I rotate, the tighter curl I'm gonna get. So you can just clip it once and glide it through. I just, I have really long hair, so I like to make it rotate a little bit more. It's gonna be a lot quicker if you have shorter hair. Oh, what are, oh, did I miss a spot? I missed a whole spot here. I did. Okay, so I'm a little over 10 minutes. <laughs> but, you get the gist, let me do this part here. Oh, it looks like I got it, but maybe not as tight as the rest. Again, you can go over the hair as much as you want without damage, but it will get really hot if you do that. The tool has one temperature setting, one button. You press it, it heats up in 20 seconds. And you don't need to mess with the temperature. It's always 365 and it reacts with what your hair needs. I didn't know that. My T3, you can turn the heat up, which is not necessary. Not with this guy. I don't know about the others because the plates, whatever the thing is made of, it makes all the difference. Okay, so this heats all the way through and that's why I'm able to hold my hairstyle for so long and the ceramic plates make my hair shiny. Look at that. Okay, so I let it curl, I mean let it dry, dry, let him cool, cool. That's what I'm trying to say. Then I can do anything I want from this point. If I want them to um, still have the curl form, I just brush it with my fingers or, um, Where's my wet brush? Here it is. Take a big brush or a big comb if you want it to be more of a wave. So I do this from the like under, 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 <laughs> under side of my hair. See that? Then you get a big wave. There you go. Okay, and then do the same thing for day two. You don't have to recurl, just brush it on the underside, underside of your hair to preserve that wave. I have a tease brush. Don't use this yet. My daughter took this one day and was like about to pull it through her hair. No, this, this will straighten. This is to flatten out any of the flyaways at the top, but I also like to just take that top portion of my hair and do a back comb right under here in here that gives um, some volume up at the top. Spray that with hairspray. I'm gonna use the Shine Squat. Um, I don't know if this is hairspray or is it just shine? Okay, anyways. <laughs> I would just take some hairspray and spray it up at the top. And then for the rest, either a very flexible hairspray, look at that wave. This is for all of you who compliment me on my great hair. I thank you so much because it's, I'm blessed, my DNA, but now you can, ugh, I swear you guys, this tool, it's freaking amazing. Look at that and how fast that all was. Do it. So buy it now and thank you for joining the tutorial and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.